since the season started, Baylor, Minnesota, and uh, Nebraska, among others, have extended their coaches. Do you expect that to happen with you? And uh, at what point do you go in and demand a raise? <laughs> I don't. I don't look at that. I don't worry about that. I just. Uh, I just. I'm just trying to to be good today. Whatever I can do today to be good. I, it, it's kind of like you know when when you guys ask me how many wins we're we gonna get. And I, I. I don't know. I just. We just want to be consistent. Be consistently good. And that's what I want to be as a head coach. Consistently uh, bringing it every day to try to help this football team. And I don't worry about that stuff. I think, you know, when you're doing your job, then think. Then you're doing a good job. Then things are good are gonna happen for you. And um, I've always been that way um, when I first started coaching back in 98, coaching wide receivers. Just do your job, do the best you can do, and then hopefully things will have work out for you the best. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. It seems like every play defensively or even every game, Kane is somewhere making a play, mm -hmm. somewhere in a pile. Just how crucial has he been to the growth of the defense and just how consistent he's been? Yeah, he's, he's probably been one of our most consistent performers on the defensive <laughs> side of the ball. He's... Um, you know, he was a guy that I, I quite, quite honestly, back in the spring, I didn't know kind of what kind of type of player he would be for us. And um, you know, I've been proud of him. The way he's played. You know, what we're asking him to do a lot of times is, is fill in that alley, uh, being that tackler that that really supports the run there. And he's done a really good job with that. I think he's. Um, we hadn't asked him a lot to do in the passing game. You know, mainly, but mainly the run game, coming up and doing that. One of our one of our leading tacklers. Um, <laughs> You know, I think he's probably had his you know career year out of his time he's been here, and uh, really proud of the way he's played. He's one of our leaders on defense. Coach, there's so many seniors. Not to leave anybody else, so not individually, but as a group for the guys that stuck through this being senior day. What have they meant to this program? And and you know, I mean, Saturday will be kind of an emotional day for those guys, being the last game. Yeah, you know, and for them, if you ask them, they'll say, man, it, it flew by. You know, it always does for these seniors. And, you know, and I, for us as a staff, when we talk about to them is that, you know, we're, we're sad because we hadn't been able to spend enough time with them. You know, we get one year. And we, I told them I want to make this the best year they've ever had at, at Louisville, their, their very best year. And we hope that at the end of the season that's what they'll be able to say, uh, that they had the most fun and uh, playing for each other and being a part of this team. That's what we want from them. And uh, I appreciate these seniors. That have, that have stuck it around with us, that have been through us, uh, through all this. Because um, it's not easy. That, that's probably the toughest group, you know, for them to be able to Here comes a new staff, new coach, and you know, they can say, well, they're going to play young guys or this or that. And we really, we just want to play the best guys. We really didn't care. Um, and we gave everybody an opportunity. And and so we hope that, that these guys have enjoyed this season. And I'm, I'm extremely happy for them to be able to extend it. And they get to go play in their one more bowl game. And, um, you know, and I, I'm just uh, appreciative of what they are. And I told them, listen, five, 10, 15 years from now, and you guys come back here, you know, we, you know, we hope we're still, you know, um, supporting you in everything that you're doing in your life as a father, a husband, and a career person. Ian has two catches for, I think, five yards, and both of them are touchdowns. Mm -hmm. I know he means so much in the blocking mm -hmm. game, but is that something that you've seen? I mean, he was, he was an offensive lineman. He was, yeah. Um, I mean, is that something you saw when you got him that he actually could catch the ball? Yeah, you know, he told me the other day he needs we need to throw him the ball more. I mean, all he does is catch touchdowns, right? He's two for two. Um, he's uh, he's a guy that came in and he, you know, as a grad transfer, and you know, we needed some help at tight end, particularly on the ball blocking tight end, and he's been that. He's been a great for that. And um, you know, we get down to red zone. We've had a couple of these plays uh, all season, really, and just kind of waiting to see when we need to, to call them and. Um, and, and for him to be able to make those two catches, that's fun for him. I mean, he's so excited. He did, the first one he caught him out, he didn't know what to do. You know, he just kind of just stood there. This one, I think he made, you know, tried to show his muscles to the crowd. I mean, I, he's working on his touchdown celebrations <laughs> if he gets another opportunity. Uh, but, but he's having fun, you know, and that's what I love that. I love to see the joy on their faces when they're, when, they're at, when they're going out having fun, making plays. He's one of those guys, and, and he's been an integral part of our, our running game with the, with the way he blocks. Uh, yeah. What goes into before you call a thing to a goal? Mm -hmm. What kind of discussion is it? What's the decision making process there on the sidelines? Is it any different? Or, or, uh... Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're kind of we're looking at how they were defending the extra points and, and then the field goal mm -hmm. attempt that we had. And we thought it was going to be there. So now, you, now you're just waiting, okay, what scenario is going to come up? Do, do we, you know, are you going to be able to use it? And I told him, um, you know, Ryan, after the after the missed extra point, I said, listen, you know, keep your head in there. You, you know, we may come with the fake here soon. 
uh, if it presents itself or whatever. And so it just happened to work out. You know, you're down there, it's fourth and seven. Felt like we wanted to try to get some points in it, and we felt like it was going to be there. And, you know, we've been practicing that all year, you know, and um, he's been practicing for two weeks, you know. <laughs> and, uh, so um, I told Coach Hall, I was like, yeah, it's there, let's, let's go for it. And um, it just worked out. The scenario worked out, and he made the play. I mean, you know, great play by him. He never – Never knew he was going to make a play like that, but uh, it was just a great play, and it, you know, obviously, you know, turned out to be a big play for us. Um, you know, getting that touchdown, we, we really needed that one. Scott, do you give any thought to any potential schools that might reach out to you about a, a job considering what you've done here this year? No. I mean, I, again, I I just think about what I can do to help this team. I mean, it, you know, it's all Syracuse and what we can do to try to, you know move the ball offensively, stop them on defense. And that's all I care about right now. Is that it? All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.